Hello everyone. Today we have Hari Prapan with us. Hari is an exceptional academic achiever who recently completed his BS in Data Science and Applications from IIT Madras. In just five years, he has earned three prestigious degrees and he will soon begin his PhD at IIT Gandhinagar in July 2025. Let's dive into his inspiring journey and how he managed to balance multiple degrees. Welcome Hari. Can you start by giving us a brief introduction about yourself? Also, when did you join the IITM BS degree program in data science and what motivated you to enroll in this course? So first of all, thanks a lot for inviting me here to share my journey. So my name is Hari Prepan and I am from Gaya, Bihar. So it started in 2020 when I got enrolled at University of Delhi for my bachelor's in mathematics. So like before that, I was preparing for the J, but uh, unfortunately, I was not able to get into such institute for pursuing BTEC. Uh, I think in my mind was to pursue any degree from IIT. So uh, it was in 2021 when I got to know, know about the BS degree from IIT Madras. So I just enrolled into this program, just gave the qualifier and started it in September 2021. So the motivation behind joining this program for me was like, uh, I first of all, the I was looking for any degree from IIT. So it was very nice for me to continue such a degree from such a premier institute. And also like I was looking for a, a degree which which have applied applications based degree. Uh, since I was I got enrolled into bachelor's of mathematics at DU, but it was more of a kind of theoretical in nature, right? So this data science degree is more of a kind of application based. So it fascinated me to join this. Uh, it motivated me to join this degree. You have completed three science degrees from three prestigious universities in just five years. What motivated you to take on such an ambitious academic journey? It was not at all no, pre-decided that I will be pursuing all these three degrees, you know. So. I just, but like I got enrolled into DU and when I, uh, when it ended in 2023, uh, I, I was just looking like whether I should do a master's or not. And since this BS degree was also not completed, you know, I was just in diploma level at that time in 2023. So I, I was just uh, exploring whether I should pursue master's or not. So at the time, I got to know that uh, Central University of South Bihar is offering MSc data science degree, you know. Uh, in an offline mode. So I just uh, appeared for CUAT paper and I got enrolled there. And now the time has came that I am complete. I have completed all these three degrees. Did you face any challenges during your whole academic journey? What was the turning point that helped you push through? And how did you develop your time management skills? So when I enrolled for all these like uh, dual degree during my DU and this IIT Madras, so at the time to, uh, in 2020 and 2021, COVID was there, you know. So like IIT Madras is offering this in virtual mode, in distance mode degree. And even at DU, um, at that time in 2020, it was all the like classes were going online. So at that time, I was not feeling any much hectic to handle both the degree. Um, but as I like COVID ended and college got reopened and I was about to I start my offline college physically at the college itself and I had to attend the classes from 9 to 3 p.m., you know. So at that time, like, uh, it went very hectic for me to balance both the degree at the same time. Uh, but at that time, like, many friends were there who motivated me, uh, who suggested uh, why not to take few courses at IIT Madras, you know. By taking few courses, uh, you can manage both the degree efficiently. That time I was like about to quit, quit any of the degree, but like I decided to, why not to take more time to complete this uh, IITM degree. I was, I started taking two courses. Maybe if the courses are easy, I, I was taking three courses. So this is how I managed to handle both the, both the degree. As you have been a student at IIT Madras BS degree since 2021, can you share your experience with the online learning mode of IIT Madras? How did it compare with your on-campus experiences at DU and Central University of South Bihar? Yeah, so both mode, whether it is online mode of learning or offline mode of learning, both has its own advantage and disadvantage, you know. So the in online learning, you are like getting the recorded lectures, maybe the live session too. So you are having the freedom of uh, attending the classes at your 
own convenient time. If you are uh, willing to study at night, no one is stopping you to study at the night. You just start watching the lectures. Um, but in the offline college, you need to be at the time. You can't say that you, you will be attending the college in the night. So like but, uh, it has its own advantage too. You need uh, you, like you get to interact with the friends. You need uh, you get to interact with the professors in the offline colleges. So both um, degrees are having its own advantage and disadvantage. So it's up to you which fascinates you more, you know. Um, but the one thing is like uh, the exams happens to uh, conducted in offline mode only. So like the learning will be in either in offline or online, but the exams you need to appear in person at the center to give. What were some of the most interesting projects or research experiences you had during your BS in data science? So like BS degree is full of projects only. Like uh, in the diploma level itself, you you need to complete four, uh, four interesting projects in the degree level itself. There are many courses in which projects are there. there. So like uh, in the diploma level, for me, the app dev projects were like, like really challenging, really uh, tough for me. Being from a maths background, I was not like uh, usual to programming, you know. So, but yes, the support from the faculty, support from the instructors was very crucial for me to complete both the uh, projects. Like when I joined this program, I was not even much habitual to the HTML itself, you know. I had, of course, I had studied a bit of that in my schooling, but uh, I started learning from HTML itself, basics of Python, then Flask, then Vue.js, and, and like the project itself, the full stack development of the modern web applications. So for me, the, these projects were very motivating for me to complete. Now let's talk a little bit about your experience pursuing a master's in data science and applied statistics. Your MSc at the Central University of South Bihar must have had its own set of challenges. What were some of the biggest lessons you learned during this period? So like my master's is basically in data science and applied statistics. Two fields are there. So the for, for the first year, uh, the courses are like more of a statistical in nature. You need to study core statistic subjects. In France, you need to study uh, multivariate st statistics. Uh, and since I was, uh, I was having background in mathematics, so usually I should go for like MSc in mathematics, but, but I opted for MSc in like statistics, applied statistics. So for me, the first year was a kind of challenge, but yes, the faculties there supported me a lot. Um, they helped me in understanding the concepts really well. So yes, this, these were the challenges. And what subjects or research projects you found the most fascinating during your MSc? I will say about the projects which I have done as part of my master's thesis. So basically, it is a combination of uh, uh, a combination of computer science background and the statistic itself. So basically, I have developed a, a web application which offers a no-code solution to problems like data analysis, data visualization, and machine learning modeling. So if you need to analyze your data, if you need to visualize your data, you don't need to write any piece of code. You just need to upload uh, data in that software or the web application. And there you will be getting a single click button where you can just click on the uh, on the options to visualize the data or to perform any so, uh, uh, supervised or unsupervised machine learning algorithms. So this is the best part of my master's degree. As we know that data science is a vast field, which specific area within data science, AI, or statistics excites you the most? So I will name the machine learning. Machine learning excites most in this field of data science. You know, in machine learning, you start with uh, raw data, where you like uh, collect the data from various sources. You analyze the data. You used to make various visualization techniques for analyzing the data, and after applying various kind of supervised or unsupervised algorithms, come up with a conclusion with that sort of unstructured or structured data. So I think like machine learning excites most. As you mentioned in your LinkedIn that you have been exempted from the gate or net requirements, which is a rare achievement. Could you share how this opportunity came about? I was like visiting a student at IIT Gandhinagar to pursue some of the offline courses as a part of my third year of this BS program. So there I got to know about that 
Um, IIT Gandhan Nagar used to offer PhD and to get the fellowship there, you need to clear the gate or net. So, but if you are having any degree, four-year degree from IIT, so you don't need to appear for any such uh, exams to get the fellowship. And since I was having this BS degree, you know, so they have, like, this is very good news for all of us that they have allowed this BS degree uh, to get into their direct PhD. And, and for the fellowship, you don't need to write any and get on it. That's an amazing opportunity for all the BS students. Since you have now completed your master's and are about to begin your PhD at IIT Gandhinagar, what made you choose IIT Gandhinagar for your PhD journey? And what research area are you considering for your PhD? So since I was the part of the uh, visiting a student program at the campus, IIT Gandhinagar campus, I got fascinated about the like how game theory interlinks with machine learning, you know. So, for example, if you are uh, developing a self-driving car, you know, in, in that game theory is like very much uh, beneficial. Like, suppose a condition where you have a traffic and and the cars are automated, you know. So, cars need, needs to take uh, decision on their own. So, they need to collaborate with themselves. They need to compete with themselves. So, this is the particular research area which I am focusing upon. So, how to apply this game theory technique in field of this machine learning? Well, congratulations on such an amazing achievement. And I'm sure you must be really excited about the journey ahead of you. Looking back at your journey, is there anything that you wish you could have done differently? Uh, I don't think so. Then there is much that I would be willing to change. But yes, uh, if I have, if I would have given an option, I would have taken more uh, breaks in between my studies to uh, to enjoy the journey even more. So I have not taken uh, more breaks between my journey. So uh, I wish I could have taken such a gap between my studies. Uh, many students struggle with managing their academic commitments. What advice would you give to those students who want a rigorous academic path like yours? So the advice is that uh, the student needs to understand their strength and weaknesses. So if they are sure that they can handle both the degree at the same time, for sure they should go for. But many students are also there who who used to do this degree stand alone. So you need to figure out your own strength. You know, you don't need to compare yourself with others. You just need to figure out yourself. If you are motivated enough to pursue the both the degrees, I don't think there will be much hectic to for you. But you need to figure out yourself. Who are some of the people, mentors, or friends who played a key role in your success? So, I will name one of my mentor, one of my faculty at uh, my MSc degree, which I am pursuing at Central University of South Bihar. So, Dr. Sunit sir is there. He is the HOD at the Department of Statistics there. So, he has supported me like uh, very much during my path, during my MSc. Like, I... I even did not even needed to convey anything to uh, him, but he used to read my face. He, he, he need, like he used to understand my difficulties and all those things. And he have supported me a lot during my journey. Finally, if you had to describe your academic journey in three words, what would they be? So first of all, I will say that sacrifice. You need to sacrifice many things, you know, to, to continue all this academic path. You know, but yes, but yes, it is rewarding at the same time. You know, so sacrifice, rewarding, and at last, it is transformative for you. Thank you so much, Hari, for joining this session. I'm sure your journey will inspire many students, and we wish you all the very best for your future endeavors. Thanks a lot.